chatted with Driving Lightning, the positively charged EV channel, and the Aptera was in San Francisco a couple days ago. We couldn't get there, but we had some folks that could. These guys. So because of channel members Russ Wig and Jerry and Helen Molnar, we were able to see what they saw. And I heard a rumor that we have more video coming from another secret agent who I will not, uh, I will not reveal my sources. But let's see what they found out. First video came from Russwig. You can see here they're showing that's the compartment in the back uh, underneath the hatch where you'll be able to fit like a level one charger. Get an idea for the space here in the back of the Altera, which is nice. Uh, it's quite extensive. And look at that in the PI build. They got the seats bolted in. Speaker hole right there. You can see that. And then you can get a look at the seats. People can sit in it and see how comfortable it is. And isn't that carbon fiber just cool? And then see all the routing uh, channels there for wires and whatever else. All that is baked into the deal. This is just such a genius way to build this car, in my opinion. Of course, I don't claim to be an engineer, but I can see smart, and that, that looks smart. And here you go, look at the interior still here from Russwig. You can see these are, I believe, the seats that we can expect in our Aptera. They look a lot like what we saw in the Gamma, and they look quite comfortable. And I heard from Jerry that they are indeed uh, super comfortable, so we're excited to hear that, and thank you. Uh, Russ for this video. This is so cool to be able to be places our, our audience members couldn't normally be Because of what you did for us and it's appreciated now. We get a look under where the hood will be So yeah, that's pretty cool. Thank you again, Russ. That's amazing. Let's go on to some of what Jerry and Helen Molnar sent us right here uh, the slow-mo here of the seat uh, Jerry texted me and he said the seats are extremely comfortable, which is so good to hear Oh, they tilt up a little bit too, so that makes a little more space in the back for those of us that are going to try to camp in our Aptera because we're the kind of people that would do something like camp in a car. But let me know in the comments what you think of the seats and let's see what else we got here. There's a shot of it outside there. Of course, anywhere the Aptera is, we've talked about this so many times, it's going to draw a crowd. That's just the way it goes. Uh, you can't just see something like that and not get excited. And you see they got people lining up to get in it, to feel what it's like to sit in it, to touch the yoke, to check out the seats. Look at this line. It just goes and goes and goes and goes. And that's why I've been saying, let's get this vehicle to Detroit. Here's the display, which is super cool. Uh, and then that's about it, some windshield pics. Thank you so much again, Jerry and Helen Molnar for sending these pictures, Russwig videos. And thank you, Russwig. Jerry even got a mold of chocolate. Aptera chocolate. Did you know such a thing existed? It was a gift from somebody. But I thank you to the members of the channel, including the two that sent us videos. We appreciate you so much. And other friends of the channel, you mean the world to us. Uh, the Mug Club, you bought mugs. So these mugs can go see Aptera in person. Since they're obviously not going to bring it to Michigan, for me, I'm going to have to go back again, Sarah and I, like we did a couple years ago, and really get an idea of what the production vehicle will be, uh, which should be completed pretty soon, and we'll be able to get out there and see it because of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope everybody has an excellent whatever day it is there. There's other videos on our channel about the Aptera Solar Powered Electric Car like that one right there. I think you'll enjoy it. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you so much.